Wow. What a story. And Grant, thank you for being sharing so honestly, one, but also saying two decades. I mean, yeah. that's a long time to be in a place where you're struggling and it feels dark and you're not actually sure how to find purpose. Um, I think sometimes we hear stories that are like, bounce from this to the next and then this and then this but no I mean you that's that's some some perseverance and then to call back on that feeling of what lit you up that's pretty amazing yeah it was uh it was actually a really cool journey for me to go through that whole process uh but it, it was truly when you think about um you know especially when you're the quarterback you know there's you live in the the, the limelight and I spent my whole life my younger life being in the limelight so when you're quote unquote the man and then then you become not the man and you start to play a very small, narrow game throughout your life. Uh, now it's, it's, a, it's a whole different story. Now I'm playing a bigger game with my life, with my life, my career, my relationships, with my health. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's just been a cool process. Nice. Um, so let's talk about mental performance. For, for some people listening, they won't really be familiar with it. Can you just describe the work, what you're actually doing? Yeah, you know, you hear mental performance, mental skills training, mindset training. Uh, essentially, you know, in, in a nutshell, when you think about mental performance, what actually, what dictates the way we actually have mental performance? Well, it's our thoughts and our emotions. Now, there's other things that I can get into, but truly when you think about mental performance training, basically what I'm doing with my clients, I am, for whatever reason, whatever we're working on, I'm putting in a process where they can actually align their thoughts and emotions in the moment. So they can actually, no matter what the environment is, whatever the pressure is, stress, whatever it is, they can go straight to that, that strategy, to that process, to that routine. So it can either get them refocused or to stay focused. So it's just, just about giving them a lot of these nice routines that they can access, a lot of mindfulness routines, but a lot of it is just, is just activating the thoughts and emotions together. But it's really interesting because one of the reasons we love sports and athletics is because of that quick response. Because yeah. we see we see people who are who are smart, who are savvy, who are strong, who are really beautiful, actually physically in that moment. Yeah. Um, and so to give them a tool that they can call on automatically to enhance their performance, that's really powerful stuff. 